What's going on guys, do it yourself Andrew Flockhart and today I'm going to be showing you guys the top five modifications that you need to do to your Chevy Silverado or GMC Sierra right now. I'm also going to be going into a cost breakdown of every single one of these modifications so you guys know exactly what it costs to do these mods. So the first modification we're talking about today is wheels and tires. This is going to give you that aggressive look you're looking for as well as actually make your truck look like what a truck should. These stock rims and tires are just not doing it for me nowadays, so I definitely advise getting some aftermarket rims and tires. The rims that I have on this truck are 17 inch rims with a minus 12 offset, while the tires are 33 inch by 11.5. This allows for more rubber and less wheel, which is what I'm looking for. It's gonna be better for mud and snow, and it's gonna have a better off-road performance, as well as you're gonna have a thicker sidewall for less flat tires. And now for cost, this is definitely going to be your priciest mod. The price for these rims was $1,100 and the price for the tires was $1,100. I think it was really worth it. You're going to have to buy new tires anyways. I didn't really like the rims, so I went ahead and bought new ones. And just a fun fact as well, I was able to sell my stock rims and tires for $1,000. So this whole setup only actually cost me $1,200. And the second mod I'm talking about here is an upper strut two inch spacer. The Chevy and the GM trucks come with a factory rake, leaving the rear much higher than the front. So this simple solution raises the front to match the height of the rear, providing a more aggressive appearance and enough increased ride height to run larger wheels and tires. And this leveling kit is designed to improve your CV boot clearance compared to the bottom mount spacers. Uh, this design offers better clearance for off-road driving so you can tackle uneven terrain with greater peace of mind. And best of all, the kit is designed to retain your smooth factory ride quality. The best part about doing a leveling kit compared to other suspension or body lifts is got to be the price. So I only spent $40 to get this leveling kit and if you're going to be installing it yourself, that's it. $40 all said and done. If you're going to be getting a shop to install it, you may be looking more around the range of three to $400. And the third modification on our list today is mud flaps. I recently did a video on this where I outlined how to install these as well as some key things to think about. If you guys wanna go ahead and watch that video, it's up in the top right for you. The main reason why I think these mud flaps are absolutely essential was even with the stock rims and tires, the factory mud flaps didn't do anything. I still had a ton of paint chips and wear and tear on the side of my vehicle from all the rocks that were being thrown up on the side of it. Not only are these mud flaps gonna help the side of your vehicle, but they're also gonna protect whatever you're towing. And for the price, I paid $310 for these mud flaps on Amazon. It was the cheapest place that I could find. Even going directly to Husky to buy these mud flaps was more expensive with shipping and handling. The fourth mod is a bed mat. Yes, at first glance, this may not seem like an essential item, but I honestly cannot live without this anymore. It's gonna stop everything from sliding around in the back of your truck, whether it be when you're carrying a jerry can or wood or propane or whatever you're carrying, it's gonna be able to stop it from sliding around. And for price, I paid $100 for this bed mat from Rough Country. And our fifth modification is rubber floor mats. The ones that I have cover the entire carpet. They go right through the middle and they're not just where the seats are, which is awesome. It covers the entire carpet, making sure that no dirt, grime, moisture, whatever is getting into your carpet. And it makes it extremely easy to clean and they look great. They're also going to dramatically increase the lifespan of your interior for your vehicle. Unfortunately, I don't have the exact price for these particular floor mats as these were already installed in my truck when I bought the truck, but looking online, the price ranges from $175 to around $250 to get floor mats that's going to cover all four to five seats in your vehicle. And for those of you that stuck around, I have a bonus modification, which is blacking out your decals. I've used Plasti Dip spray can, which is extremely cheap. They're like 10 bucks to buy for a can. It's really easy to do. It took me a couple hours and it turned out great. All I did was cover the truck in plastic to prevent the overspray. And I feel like this really matches the wheels and tires a lot better. When I decided that I wanted to black out the emblems, I went on Amazon and looked at what the prices were. And I was looking at 40 to $60 for black emblems. 
but I figured it was going to be pretty tedious to get these emblems off and then black emblems on. So I went with the Plasti Dip route, which turned out great because if I didn't like the black emblems, I would be able to just rip off the Plasti Dip and I'd still have my chrome emblems and I could go a different route if I wanted to. And while I was on Amazon, I came across these tailgate insert letters, which are awesome because my tailgate was just indented red and you couldn't really read the Chevrolet logo on the back of the truck. So these stickers were only 20 bucks and I could get nice legible black color within the tailgate that stood out and really made the tailgate pop. As you guys could tell, I was in a little bit of a different filming location this time, trying to get out of that Canadian winter, but I've really been enjoying making videos and this is a location that I could do it in. So uh, thanks for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so and I'll see you next time. Thanks.